Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with I haven't played with this tank in a while and I noticed that we haven't had a video in a while with this tank as you can see yourself so our goal is going to me to be to make this tank work anyways you know the drill field modifications over there as usual expectation values for getting mark of excellence ace wankers and so on and if you are wondering how did i rate this vehicle i rated this tank as a bad tank and uh, um, we are going to talk about this in a moment and now let's teleport into the game shall we and we are back round number one so what do we have boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we have a tier 8 matchmaking um in the corridor pass and still may you answer to our question why the flying if you think this tank is bad because gun is looking okay let's look into the gun penetration 257 tier 10 penetration easily shell velocity kind of okay gold rounds 325 millimeters of penetration 1.3 thousand um meter shell velocity everything is looking quite great well you see there is a twist boys and girls ladies and gentlemen the platform is not great of this tank but by saying it is not great I mean it is horrible platform the thing is in order to get some use with this tank you need to be quite lucky in order to hit and in order to penetrate your shells and if you are unlucky well you are unlucky and nothing what you can change about this fellas and this is truly worth to highlight uh, so what do we have we have okay gun on the terrible platform and this is quite a bad thing if you would ask me even though once again we can talk about this we can say no but skill you can load the gold and you can penetrate your shot sure thing you can load the gold and you can make your gun handling a bit more competitive and a bit better um, but it doesn't change the fact you will get penetrated in the horns or if people will spam gold you will penetrate uh, uh, you will get penetrated willy nilly wherever so this is quite a bad thing and considering this tank has only 1000 hit points this is quite a big problem my friends it truly is and this is not what you want to see with this vehicle you do not want to um get caught off guard or something right whenever you are playing with this tank ideal option for you would be if enemies are clueless if they are going through the middle of the field while saying la 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 and if they are making a silly goose mistakes but i can promise you that fellas it is not happening like this at least uh not often okay um and if enemies are being uh, aggressive right if enemies are pushing on you whenever you are on the reload you are kind of doomed um and in the same time i believe it's kind of worth to highlight the gun handling is not that excellent with this tank um i played with this vehicle last time probably in 2020 i would say and um I truly dislike the tank because uh, I figured out it is very hard to make this vehicle work and this is truly a problem fellas if it is hard to make a tank work it is definitely no bueno fellas and in this kind of situation I feel literally in this way anyways we started our game kind of all right uh, we eliminated the light tank from the game so at least that is something um but in the same time boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we still have uh, um plenty of stuff to do overall night i believe it's quite clear our team is losing the battle um we are not winning the field we are not winning the bridge we are not winning the heavy line or medium line however you would uh, um call this and we have problems fellas we have plenty of problems keep this in mind but it's okay we will try to make it work somehow i want to get two more clips for a full happiness that's all i want to get as you can see double penetrator is thinking about being aggressive and this is oh come on game that was so sad it was pretty much perfect angle for us to penetrate this guy fellas it was truly perfection but unfortunately we are not going to get any use whatsoever here right 
Okay, what do we want to do? We want to go and hopefully we can clip a Tiger 2 or a Centurion who are trying to go like this. Let's try to get somehow use this way. Okay, we have Su-100 who is making hardcore pressure, that's good. I am going for a damage, so I'm going to hit the tank who has more hit points for obvious reasons. And um, we are simply waiting until we are going to finish our reload. Um, I believe... We are going to get one more clip, but that's about it. This is as much as we are going to get in this battle. And once again, there is nothing bad about it. This is what this tank is all about, and this is what this tank is capable of doing. Uh, there is nothing bad to show the truth colors um, speaking about the videos like this, right? I am not afraid to say, well, tell us the tank is not very good, okay? I am not afraid to say so, I'm not afraid to sh show uh, the stuff like this, I am feeling very very well. I am truly feeling very well. Once again, this is kind of game over and we cannot change anything, so we can try to bait enemies uh, to go for us, right? If they will try to go for us, hopefully we are going to get some ramming damage. And as you can see, we are having some ramming damage, that's good. I am very very happy and we. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, that's what I call a finish uh, with a style, okay? Beautiful. Okay, so... In this game, we have 2.7 thousand visible, although I want to believe and uh, I hope so we hit enemy light tank with a blind shot. So let's see, are we packing 3,000 damage or not really? This is the question. Moment of truth, drums. <laughs> Boom. 3.1 thousand damage. I knew we hit light tank because I haven't seen splash once. Um, so that's very, very nice and this is much appreciated. So we finish it on top by the damage. We finish it on top by experience and we made a cow work. Um, so that's much, much appreciated. Let's go for a round number two, shall we? And we are back with round number two. This is not looking great for us. I do not know how we are going to play this battle. I truly do not want to be aggressive anyhow. I don't even want to take the typical position here because we can get slaughtered here quite easily. Especially if they have a light tank um, or medium tank or heavy tank who is trying to counter this position. So this is not what we want to do. We want to sit somewhere next to the red line with a big smile on our face and we will try to punish enemies whenever they are going to do silly goose mistake. That's all I care about and that's all I want to do. Meanwhile, we want to um, destroy this, um, this house here. Why so? Because whenever enemies will try to make pressure like this, we will be able to punish them. At least that's the um, main plan for us. And uh, looking into the setup, I would say our team is playing quite aggressively in this side. What that basically means, that basically means our team um, is going to hold the head line completely and that means for us fellas is not bueno okay this is not bueno whatsoever by any means we are not going to give up we will try to give our best and we will try to punish enemies meanwhile Progetto is sniping from the back. We are going to say hello for him. Um, and hello for a Scorpion. And hello for other Progetto. Beautiful stuff. Okay. So we got two out of three shots. I am super happy about this. I think this is a great uh, um, beginning for our team. And for our game um, overall. Right? So we are feeling great. Um, where enemy light tank is sitting at? This is quite a question if you would ask me, fellas. I would say enemy light tank is more likely sitting in this bush here. And maybe I could try to blind fire him, but I kind of don't want to waste my time if that makes sense. Meanwhile, our board is trying to do the climb which I am uh, um, doing from time to time and I show that multiple times in the YouTube video and unfortunately for this gentleman he failed. But that's fine. Meanwhile, dead the Fede, how are you doing? Trying to hit dead the Fede, unfortunately missing. Can we hit another shot? No, we are missing. And can we hit another shot? This could be a hit. If it is a hit, I am happy. 
If it is not a hit, then oh well, what can you do? Cry every time, right? Okay, our heavy tanks are making a humongous pressure to the enemy side. This is good for our team. We are winning this battle by 4,000, actually let's make it 5,000, 5,000 hit points. This is looking relatively fine. Uh, speaking about our performance though, with a cow we are not delivering, okay? We need to get at least one or two more clips uh, for a full happiness and that's what we are doing. We are getting a bit closer here um, and we are hoping enemies will try to peek. If enemies will try to peek, hopefully we will get um, some more use, but as you can see they are not peeking. Um, the score is becoming worse and worse and worse, not by the minute, but by the second. Um, and I'm speaking about the deficit for the enemy team. So at this point we are just making a hardcore pressure. We are going for this projector, maybe for Skoda, that doesn't really matter and we will try to eliminate them from the game. Meanwhile, enemy projector decided to go for a full trollolo, he hit us once and after that obviously he got slaughtered. Um, and it's not good fellas, it is just not good. Hello dear, how are you doing? Beautiful shot, very very nice. Can we get one more, pretty please? Yes we can, and can we get one more? I don't really want to get one more, at least for this guy. I want to hit this Skoda if it is possible. Let's hit his friend. He's currently on the long reload, and this is going to be it. Uh, probably this is a game over for us. Um, once again, not the game I am going to complain about, but just to show the flexibility of this tank. You cannot be aggressive with this vehicle. You can dream about being aggressive, you can have some hopes and dreams, um, but by any means you just cannot deliver this, right? And this is super important thing to mention, this is super important thing to say, um, because whenever you are playing Ridgeline, those two cupolas are going to be your death sentence, and that's not good. And once again, you are getting... Um, hit into the lower plate, you are going to get penetrated. If you are dealing against the gentlemen who are shooting gold and let's get real, in World of Tanks 2022, a lot of people are carrying a shit ton of the gold ammunition, so you can get penetrated then straight in the face and yeah, weak tank overall, weak combination of the things. Although, if I'm not mistaken, this vehicle have alternative option aka to use a different gun. Only 1.8 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage. I am okay with that, 8 thousand profits, I will take it. And let's see, do we have another gun to use? Because I'm pretty sure there is a um, standard gun. Okay, so alternative option for you, you can use the 300 alpha damage gun. But in my opinion, it is not worth it. And the main reason why is it not worth it? Because alpha damage is 25% lower. And even though you have a bit um, better accuracy and a bit better DPM, the burst fire of 400 alpha damage gun is definitely the right way to do the things. Let's teleport into the round number three. Let's go. And we are back with uh, round number uh, three. No bueno. I'm instantly loading gold. Uh, hopefully it is going to help for our performance quite a bit. At least this is the um, hope, this is the dream, and uh, this is for what we are crossing our fingers. Um, whenever I am... I have an idea. I am going to rate every single tank, obviously you know there is a rating uh, in the index, but there is no such a thing as couple of sentences about the tank. And um, what am I thinking about fellas? I am thinking about adding couple of sentences for every single vehicle in the world of tanks. This is the plan, this is the hope and this is the dream and that's what we are looking for, right? This is what we are going to work for um, very very soon and this is important thing to highlight so hopefully you will get a bit more information for yourself my friends. Okay, so what is happening? I am not very happy with this um, performance. Um, I am not happy with this start, but this is as much as we are going to be able to do. Um, unfortunately, but our light tank died, which is quite sad thing, so that means we do not really have uh, um, any light, any spot, anything, right? And this is quite sad. But what we can do, we can try to go a bit with the blind shots, left, right and center. Obviously, 
Blind shooting with APCRs is not very good idea, so I'm loading the standard ammunition for obvious reasons. I just don't want to pay that much for a blind shots. And we are going um, to blind fire a typical bush. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, enemy art is smacking us like there is no tomorrow. Not exactly what I am looking for, but this is what we have. And now we are trying to escape uh, enemy art and hopefully enemy clicker won't hit us once again. I cannot be too aggressive because once again, I believe I said that multiple times and I can't stress this enough. Um, the armor of this tank is not existent. You cannot expect to bounce anything with this tank. So this is important thing to highlight. Plus, um, by the looks of it, enemies have a light tank somewhere in the middle. And this light tank is doing a good job while um, outspotting us all the time. There is only one way how we can do the things. And it is to cross our fingers um, and hope enemies will try to be a bit more involved here. If enemies will try to be a bit more involved, then obviously we will be able to punish them, at least hopefully. And what do we have? We have a Mr. Mouse who decided to be a bit more aggressive. That's okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to go for a full clip here. I really want to eliminate enemy was a tank destroyer because this is like a, this is like a meeting my uh, nemesis right this tank is so much better um, than our vehicle is so we are obviously trying to show some dominance over this gentleman and every shot which we are doing for this guy it is pretty much awesome another shot to the mouse uh, luckily for us we managed to use our armor somehow or maybe i supposed to say we manage to use our luck somehow and we are getting shot into the mr mouse nice very very good we have more guns than enemy does even though we are not having that much hit points um in this side it doesn't really change absolutely anything because that means we can uh, be involved eventually here and that's what we are going to do i am going to make a bit of pressure in front and hopefully we can punish mr mouse so how are you doing mr mouse boom into the lower plate bounce from the mouse sad another another shot into the lower plate another bounce which is once again sad and we are going on the reload once again shame fellas you can say whatever you want this is just a shame fellas um once again i would love to clip this mouse out but this is very uh, complicated situation even with a gold ammunition against the mr mouse and in order to win this side our team needs to make a lot of pressure for the enemies that's what we need to do but once again everything is depending on our team if our team will be involved this is going to be awesome if our team won't be involved this is not going to be great this mouse is good at side scrapping you can clearly see this gentleman knows what he is doing and he is side scrapping pretty damn well um that's obviously bad thing for us but nothing to do and um, this is a good highlight what this tank is capable of and uh, what to do in this situation what do you want me to do fellas do you want me to um how do you want me to uh, get more use of all this this is what i am talking about and you are flexible as a rock fellas you are flexible as a stone and this is not good and this is what i am trying to highlight for you my friends why you shouldn't go for this vehicle and why you shouldn't uh, um grind this tank at the first place right okay we have enemy light tank who is sitting obviously somewhere in the middle that's a fact i believe this is uh, completely understandable this guy is on the reload currently i am very very well aware of that and probably um probably this is understandable once again he should sit somewhere here so what we are doing we are trying to escape just like this and i hope he is not going to reload until i will um, cross he should be right there i would say this guy is sitting exactly there so yeah Whew, quite a battle and quite an interesting situation don't you think so okay mr mouse is making hardcore pressure and this um willy mouse he used his armor properly there is nothing to add nothing to say nothing to do he did everything properly in this battle okay Let's see, when this ELC will make pressure, because he should. 
he should make pressure fellas. In fact, I have a feeling I should escape like this. I do not really want to get um, penetrated by this gentleman. I simply can't afford this. I want him to move like this. Okay, he is not even moving like this. Ay, 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 ay. Such a smart ELC um, bugger. Okay, so this is, the, this is the game which we are going to get for a last battle. Uh, sucks to be us, I would say, but this is as much as we are going to get. Mouse angling, ideally, nothing to do, nothing to say. Uh, we can't penetrate this gentleman, we cannot punish him. Very, very, very good angling by the Mr. Mouse. I'm telling you, I need to give kudos for this tank. Um, and for this gentleman overall, right? By any means, we are unlucky with the matchmaking, right? Uh, tier 10 battle, two artists, nothing to do, nothing to say and we are getting led um, into the slaughter factory or however it's called right uh, and this is completely fine I am accepting my responsibility I am accepting my battle and this is how the things are looking like shame truly shame so the last game 600 damage 300 assisting damage I hope um, I hope it is showing enough why this tank is horrible tank in the world of tanks. I hope it is clear to say and uh, uh, I just simply I want to save you fellas for countless hours of uh, hating uh, your life while playing with this. Okay, let's let's be real. It is just simply horrible tank. So we hit one blind shot. That's great. 1000 damage, 300 assisting damage. Pretty pathetic situation if you would ask me. ELC even got a lot of assisting damage and uh, quite a bit of damage dealt. Very good play. He was playing in the middle and he pretty much outspotted many of our forces also kudos to the mouse he went in front and he banged everyone but once again this is a lucky matchmaking for a tier 10 right um minus 60,000 profits uh we fired how many times we fired 14 times 11 direct hits three penetrations uh Honestly, this tank is horrible, fellas. Um, in the end of the day, we have performance of 2,000 damage and um, 300 assisting damage. And you know what is the funny thing of all this? This performance is enough to get third mark of excellence on this vehicle. I am not even joking. If you would pay attention here, as you can see, cow, in order to get the third mark of excellence, you need to get uh, 2.3 thousand combined. So that means on average, people are doing 1,000 combined score with this tank yeah here you go this is what this vehicle is all about thank you very much for watching fellas i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and i hope i help you to make up your mind and not to go for this vehicle so thank you very much once again and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace